So I continue to braid straight back and then as far as the middle is concerned, I actually do not go all the way back. I just braid halfway. Now this is what it looks like up close and you can see that the hair is coming out to where there's no tension on the hairline at all. For this type of technique, I would also recommend a looser curl or a different texture. Be careful with the textures that you choose. Tighter curl patterns may be a little bit harder to separate. So from a better angle, you can see how the invisible hairline is looking. We again are going to part and apply some shine and jam on the roots just to make it easier to braid. We're gonna take our crochet hair, we're gonna split it in half. I'm gonna actually smooth it out with my fingers just to get that hair back into the curl formation. I'm gonna place it on my client's head and again, I'm gonna have her help. I wanna separate the strands into three and I'm going to begin to braid the hair into her natural hair. on the brand of hair you can sometimes use mousse if the hair is not to your liking or you can use a foam wrap to keep that hair a little bit slicker and it'll be easier for you to braid as well I find this technique extremely helpful. It keeps a lot of tension off the hairline. Instead of pulling, the hair is just laying directly on the scalp. Now once I get to this middle section, this is where I crisscross. It eliminates gaps and allows the hair to look flat from all angles. And I really like this technique because it just creates so much more shape and naturalness, even when you wanna pull it up or wear it down. So this, now that we're finished, is the invisible hairline. Now we are ready to apply the crochet hair about one fourth away from the hairline. So as you see, I'm behind where I started the hair to braid in. I'm gonna loop that hair in and I'm gonna do my crochet method. Now my method may be different from everyone else's, but I don't always do the same loop tie routine for everyone's hair or the type of hair texture that I'm using. Here I'm just kind of tying it in twice. And she can also pull this up and this is what shows the invisible hairline to where there's no knots and less tension on the scalp and she can have it as flexible as possible. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Everything is Royal Hair Treatment.